Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are going to be jumping into a adventure that you can have on basically any system. Now, one little asterisk with that is obviously Nintendo Switch, because as I am recording this video, Switch mods have not yet been released on that platform. So, I don't know when they're going to be released. Uh, the developers say they are working on them, but honestly, I would really like if they reached out and gave us another update. That would be awesome if they did that. Now, as far as the map goes, this map is on on all consoles, including next-gen Xbox and next-gen PlayStation. Now, I confirmed on mod.io that this map was available on previous-gen consoles and next-gen consoles, and the map itself is Pine Valley. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the best maps for whether you want to have, you know, you want to do some off-road RP, or if you want to maybe claim a house on this map and make it your own, or maybe even go mudding or trail riding. This map kind of has a little bit of a mixture of everything, and again, like I said before, it is available on both previous-gen Xbox and previous-gen PlayStation, as well as next-gen Xbox and next-gen PlayStation, next-gen meaning Xbox Series S and X, as well as PlayStation 5. Now, the truck in question is the new Glitchworks uh, Duramax 3500. It's called the Desperado 3500 HD. And while this has not yet been approved for consoles as I record this video, I'm sure it will be approved very, very soon. Next up, we're going to go into the garage and we're going to get our, let's say, our fun vehicle, our toy, if you will, for this particular adventure. And that is going to be one of my favorite ATV mods, the Lander 1000 by Big Dubs. Now, our setup in this video is going to be very simple, but I don't think that takes away at all from how enjoyable it is to use. So we're actually going to go with the 2-inch lifted suspension. We're not going to do the active because the active, ever since one of the updates, has had a lot more camber on the wheels than it did before. It's, it's a very odd, uh, very odd trait of it for some reason. Now, let's go ahead and go with the offline winch. We'll throw a set of tall snorkels on there since we're going mudding. And then we'll do the cargo racks, the front and rear bumpers, and I'm thinking the light bar and the radio will go all out for this thing. And then I think we're going to paint it a nice bright blue, and then we'll be ready to load it up. Now the loading ramp over there, I'm not sure if it's going to be high enough to get this particular four-wheeler into the bed of the Chevy, but I'm going to try. I, I'm really going to try and hope and cross my fingers that it's actually able to make its way in there because I'm really glad that this map has a loading ramp. It's just not very uh, lifted truck friendly, let's say. So let's grab this thing and start it up and turn it around. Back it up. I love that, like, side dump exhaust. That side exhaust is really, really nice. Really cool touch there by Glitch. All right, so let's back you up. And easy. It's going to be a little bit of an awkward angle, but I think it'll be okay. So let's go ahead and stop it right there. And then now we're going to grab the lander, and I'm going to pull it forward a little bit just to kind of adjust its actual position. And let's back it up. All right, locker's on for this. And I'm hoping that even if... Dude! Dude! Oh my god. All right, so can we adjust the position by just a little bit? I hope we can. I really, 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 really hope we can. Okay, you know what? That is close enough. And I don't know if it's actually going to pack like that or not, but... Oh, it packs. I mean, hey, if it packs, we're good to go. But you know what we have done? We have completely and totally slammed our rear suspension. So if you're on console and do not have access to the dev tools, uh, my main thing that I can advise to you is use the heavy duty suspension for this and don't use the basic suspension. Because as you can see, the basic suspension has its limits. And that's not to say anything bad about Glitch's mod. Every single suspension has its limits. I mean, there's not going to be any suspension that is going to just be, you know, uh, like impervious to anything. But... And now that we're on the higher suspension, I mean, hey, we might as well bump up the tires, right? To a slightly bigger size. I'm liking that. They're just not necessarily... Oh, oh, dude, there we go. That, okay. I, yeah, yeah, I feel that. That's, that looks sick. Oh, that looks so freaking good. There's also a really nice little property down in there with a house, a barn, that would make a really nice RP scenario for really anybody 
that is looking for maybe a house that is not necessarily in town or looks a little bit more like a, you know, country house, country property kind of setup. There's also a lake house down here if that's something you're into. And also, there's an island, and the island is, the island is really cool. So, if you're able to make your way out to the island, there's also a house out there. And if the island is something you're into, I highly encourage you guys to take a, uh, you know, ha basically take an attempt at making your way out to the island. Now, if you want to go out onto the beach there, I hesitate to call it a beach because it's basically just a big, massive mud pit. Um, if you want to go out onto the beach there, you can, but beware that the mud out there is freaking gnarly. So let's make our way out through this mud to the area where we're actually going to unload the four-wheeler. And this mud isn't too bad. I mean, as you can see, this thing can make its way through here in third. But keep in mind, we are running a off-road transmission. Oh, bro, this thing looks right at home going through here, though. Until the mud gets, like, a little too deep. And then, well, then you're in for it. But look at that, bro. Look at that. That is... That is awesome. Like, I cannot get over how incredible it is that we have setups like this on consoles, you know? Well, again, with the asterisk of, as I record this video, this particular truck is still waiting to get approved. But the reason I'm so confident about it is I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that it will be approved for console very, very quickly. So let's make our way down this muddy trail just a little bit further. I need to be a little bit less obsessed with the camera, but I mean, hey, you know, you guys know you can't help but get out of your truck and take pictures sometimes, especially when you're in like a really cool looking area like this one. Trying to find some extra grip where I can. Sometimes you have to tap the clutch to get it to downshift, and then once you get it to downshift, it's all good to go. But third gear seems to be pretty viable for most of the areas out here. So let's just make our way right on out of here. And even though this particular suspension, the towing suspension is kind of stiff, it really doesn't run into any issues with bouncing or, you know, acting like it's going to fall over. I mean, I'm rolling along in high, albeit in a four-speed transmission, but it's still rolling out just fine. So let's find a nice area to unload this four-wheeler and actually go properly mudding. I'm looking around, and I don't want to get it completely swapped. I don't want to get it completely beached, but I think I might be able to find an area around here that will be perfect for what I'm looking for. Let's make our way just a little further down. Now, right out there, you can see in the river there are some rocks, and the reason why those rocks are there is because they essentially mark an area that you can use to cross the river. Now, do I recommend doing it in something with iffy ground clearance? No, I... I don't recommend that in the slightest, but if you've got a vehicle that's got a pretty decent amount of lift on it, dude, be my guest and go for it. Now, oh man, oh man, this, okay, I, I am loving this area, like, I will tell you, having a truck like this, you know, and that quad in the bed, brings a whole new life to this map, and I've been on this map before, I've shown this map before, but I think that it really depends on what vehicles you bring out here to really get that vibe of what the creator was trying to go for. So, oh man, just being able to haul that quad like right down the side of the river, I think, I think that really encompasses, really at the end of the day, what the creator was going for and what he wanted the player to feel as they traversed their way through this map. Now, I'm gonna have to find a good spot to unload this quad, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to cross the river. I don't know how well it's gonna go for me, but I'm gonna try to cross the river. I think I found a nice little, uh, nice little spot, little sandbar down here to unload the four-wheeler on. Back in automatic mode for a quick second, try to kick that clutch. That's not what I wanted you to do. That's not what I wanted you to do. Uh, that's what I wanted you to do. Yep, that's exactly where I wanted you to winch to. All right. Now, before we unload this thing, we gotta get a proper photo because, man, this right here is like... This is the absolute stub, dude. Oh, God, that goes down a lot further than you might think it does. That's like, that's all the way in the river. That's like super sketch. All right, now that right there, that's the kind of photo I'm talking about. Dude, that is absolutely the kind of photo I'm talking about. Yes, that is awesome. Man, 
you guys have got to try coming out here with like a group of friends all like load up some four-wheelers in the bed of a truck or even like you could take a trailer with you as well i didn't because i wanted to do it for like you know simplicity reasons you know i didn't even want you guys to have to worry about bringing a trailer out here but like dude if you want to have a full-on rp adventure that is basically accessible on all consoles dude this is the way to go all right let's unpack that four-wheeler hop on it and then let's see if we can get it out here without get it out of here without flipping it over. Oh, what? Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Yep. Not bad. Now, let's see if there's a uh let's see if we made the right decision in uh, installing those really tall snorkels on it. Oh, that's an even cooler shot. I know that in this video I've been way too obsessed with taking photos, but my god, I cannot stop. Like legitimately, I cannot stop. It's like it's a problem. It's a real problem. And I need to, like, I need to actually stop. All right. Let's go. All right. I think I see a spot where we maybe can cross the river. Come on. Uh-oh. That's not going to go well, is it? Mockers, please. Oh. Well, we sunk the four-wheeler. That didn't take long. The fact that that didn't take long at all is kind of a problem. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, the winch point we went to was not a suitable winch point. It was not solid. Once you go to a solid one, you're fine, and you can make your way right on out. But, man, that first one that we went to, well, I guess we're going to be mudding on the river bank and not necessarily in the river because apparently when we try to go in the river, it uh, things get bad. Things get bad fast. Let's throw the lockers on. Get on over these rocks. Not bad. Dude, again, can you imagine going through here with a convoy of four-wheelers with your friends? Oh, dude, that's, that's like, that is the dream, you know? Come on! I might be able to do this. I might be able to do this! Woo! Come on! If I stay near the rocks, I'll be fine. At least that's the story I tell myself. Come on! Go, 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 go. Aha! I see ground. I see ground. I don't know if it's like, you know, usable ground, but I see ground. Danger. Oh, God. Damage. Aha! Okay. We made it this far. How do we make it across the rest of it? I mean, I'm seeing some, uh, some land, but like, oh, there's a tree there. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Ooh, as long as it doesn't shut off, we're okay. I mean, we're like three quarters of, of the way across the river, but I don't see, aha, never mind. I do see, a, I do see a path. Wait for it. Yep, 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 yep. Go, 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 go. Dude, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it across the river with the four-wheeler. That's amazing! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa! Easy! Yes, dude! We made it across the river. Oh, that's awesome. I had no idea that was even possible, dude. Like, that is incredible. And that just goes to show once again, as I sink in the mud, that just goes to show once again that this map, you guys have got to check it out, no matter what console you are on, because it is, again, approved across the board. This map can create so many incredible RP scenarios for you, and I think it really is one of the best places to go to hang out with your friends if you're on, really any console and i think this map can bring back a lot of those experiences that you may have been missing from other maps especially with the fact that maps and mods need to get reapproved on next gen consoles now but this one is here it is available and i think it could really create some incredible experiences for y'all but if y'all enjoyed this video make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below hit the like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys next time talk to y'all later